friends! It's so good to see you again here in this holy place. Today I want to talk about the word justice. Yesterday I went for a walk and right in our common area of our neighborhood, somebody had left this beautiful rock that they had made. Can you see what it says? It says, no justice, no peace. That really struck me because this idea of justice is a big one that's going around right now. As people are realizing more and more that we don't have enough justice and we don't have enough peace because of it. So what is justice? Well, the Bible gives a really clear image for this. It talks about mountains and valleys. So I have some sand here to help demonstrate what this looks like, all right? Let's say we start with everything flat and level and even, and the world is a fair place. But a mountain wants to form. So how do we form a mountain? Well, we have to scoop some sand out from over here and put it over there, right? So in order for the mountain to have enough to be a mountain, we have to take from the valley. Now the mountain has a lot and the valley has a little. Do you see that? That's kind of how our society works. There are people in this world that have a lot, more than they need. And there are a lot of people in this world that just don't have enough. How do we solve that? Exactly. The Bible says the valleys will be lifted up and the mountains will be made low. So the people that have all the power and the stuff and the access to things like education and good jobs, they have to give up some of that in order to make things more fair, in order for the people in the valleys to have enough. And this is God's vision for our world. God wants things to look even like this so that everybody has enough, so that nobody's hoarding and keeping to themselves all the stuff, and nobody is struggling just to survive because they don't have enough. So how do we bring about God's vision for justice in the world? Well, the first step is to recognize that most of us, we are mountains. We actually have more than we need. We have power, we have access to good schools, we have a lot of stuff, and we really need to figure out that we can share that and figure out how to share that to lift up the people that are in the valleys. Now you may be saying, I don't have a lot of power. I mean, my parents make all my decisions for me, right? I'm just a kid. But actually, you do have a lot of power. If you haven't had to worry about where you were going to get your next meal, that makes you more powerful than about 500,000 children in North Carolina who don't know where their next meal is coming from. Did you realize how much food you had? And there are people out there that need it. So how can we figure out how to share that food? Here's another question. Do you speak English? Is that your first language? Yeah. Can you imagine if you didn't speak English until you started going to school and you suddenly had to learn the language? There are so many children here in North Carolina who go to school and they don't speak any English because that's not the language that they learned in their home. Think about how much harder it would be to do school that way. And think about how you might help them if you made a friend with someone like that. There are so many ways that we can use the gifts we've been given, the blessings we have to bless others who don't have enough. The first step is to recognize all that we have. So your challenge this week is to talk with your family and figure out how much power and resources you really do have. Ask your parents, could we go to any school if you wanted me to go there? Do we have that much power? Ask your parents how easy it is for them to feed you every day. And then think about who you might know who could use a little help and support. And that big word we learned today is justice. Will you pray with me? Let's close our eyes and bow our heads and repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for your vision of justice. Help me to see all that I have and figure out a way to share it. 
Amen. Right along with justice comes peace. I hope you go in peace today. Can you sing with me? Go now in peace. Go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. Go in peace, friends. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.